In this video I concentrate on the second storyline out of the orchestral composition 7. I named it Dark Ages Are Upon Us and at this moment you can hear it play in the background. The part I will discuss starts at bar number 20 and it ends at bar number 35. How did I write this? What were my thoughts? My process? Which pointers can I give you to write something similar? All topics in this video which I will address. So let's start. Oh yeah, you can follow me along in greatest detail when you have downloaded the download bundle. Available for all my patrons for free and for any others through my website. I put the relevant links in the video description below. And don't forget to subscribe and ding that bell if you want to be notified when I upload a new video about this composition 7. Tip 1. Phrygian is your mode for darkness. In the video from last week I told you that I gave myself an assignment to write a work based on the 7 modes. Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian and Locrian. For the second storyline I was looking for a great contrast with the first one which was friendly. So I pictured myself a dark scene. Like the big black cat that was entering the garden and frightening the little birds. The choice for a dark and frightening scene led me towards the darkest mode, Phrygian. This mode uses the formula of semitones and tones like the semitone, tone, 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 semitone, tone, tone, or in half and whole steps, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. When we have a look at the score of the second storyline and the notes I have used, you will see two flats, E flat and B flat, and that means I wrote this storyline in D Phrygian. Tip number two, build up tension with strings in tremolo and a sustained piccolo. Darkness means tension, so as a composer it's your task to trigger that feeling, and you can do that in many, many ways. I chose two specific instruments to enhance the feeling of tension, well actually more, but I want to address two of them, the violoncello and the piccolo. The violoncello, or just cello, plays a continuous low D. By adding dynamics, which I think is important, you make it a breathing and living sound. But that's not enough to get the maximum feeling of tension, but by adding the tremolo articulation, you will. The other instrument, the piccolo, makes a great contrast with the low sound of the violoncello. That eerie sound of a piccolo makes me nervous. It's very present in the beginning, your ears are drawn to it immediately. But after a while it blends in naturally with, without losing its important addition to the entire uncomfortable sound of tension. Tip number three. Make use of dissonance to enhance a feeling of tension. Another great way of adding discomfort and tension is the use of dissonance. Two notes played at once which is experienced by the listener as a clash. In this second storyline I wrote for example multiple times a D and an E flat at the same time. For instance in the bars 23, 24 and 25. The viola plays an E flat and the celeste plays a D. And by the way, I love the sound of these two instruments together. And did you notice the Alberti bass line in the celeste? It's such a beautiful musical figure. When we have a closer look at the score, you will find more examples of these clashes. Tip number four, add accents and variation with orchestral sound colors. At this point I had the feeling that the second storyline was complete and in its core, but it needed some more variation and some accents to drive the feeling of tension and discomfort. So I added different orchestral colors, like the trombones and the double basses, which address the pace of this section. In my head they represent the steps of the big black angry cat. The triangle and the timpani to build up the tension even more, 
with subtle accents of the clockenspiel which blend in well with the violin and the harp sound. Notice that much of the instruments I've added during this phase address the tonic of the mode, the D, Hammering in the tonic, as I mentioned many times before in the orchestral sketch videos, is an important thing to do when you write music in modes. Next week, Storyline 3, which has an air of floatiness. That's it for this week. Hopefully I gave you some valuable insights and pointers to start writing your own dark sounding scene. Next week I will continue with the third storyline, which I named Floaty and Mystical Sky. Again, it's a complete mood swing that brings us in a totally different vibe. Already looking forward to that, and I hope you do too. <laughs>